Well, not to get lost in all the rivalry talk, but how about Utah State? The Aggies did something they hadn't done in 50 years when they pulled off a dramatic last second win over Washington State. It was a celebration that lasted well into the night. Huge win, fun night, long trip home, but man, even a trip getting home at 4.30 in the morning is fun after a big win. When Logan Bonner hit Devin Tompkins with 11 seconds left, capping a double-digit fourth quarter comeback, Utah State had its first road win over a Power 5 school since 1971. Man, it was, it, I, was, I was emotional. I don't know if anybody saw so I was very emotional after the game because, I don't know, man. It, it was just a blessing. To get that dub. Big milestone for us, but we don't want that to be it. We, we want to build on this. Nobody really knew what to expect from Utah State with a new coaching staff and 15 new transfer players, but this looks like a team to be reckoned with in the Mountain West. And We felt like we could win going in. I told the guys in the locker room I was excited but not surprised. I felt like we had a, we had a game plan that, that gave us a great chance to win. I think we were being un underestimated pretty much by everybody. Both Bonner and Andrew Peasley played at quarterback, and we may see a similar rotation this week. Not sure when we'll make that final decision. We are moving towards one, there's no doubt, and, and this is not something we're going to continue all year. But Anderson definitely wants to keep the momentum going for the home opener Friday night against North Dakota. Excited about playing in front of our home crowd on a Friday night. I think it's a whiteout, if I'm not mistaken, so it should be should be electric, and I expect it to be. And any fans that are watching, man, we, we need you. We need you big time uh, this Friday night. I think everybody is very excited. I think the Mav is going to be rocking, and we're going to give you guys a show. <laughs> they sure did on Saturday. Just a fantastic win for Utah State with all the turmoil they went through last year. One and six, two head coaches. They forfeited a game. To start 2021 like this is just awesome.